Hello, hello everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's February 27th. It's been a few weeks since my last video. I do apologize for that. Um, but uh, some in real life things have been taking precedent and so I needed to take care of those. I've been very busy lately um, and, uh, you know, just been kind of resting um, since I've been so busy. So uh, finally getting back to this series. Uh, very excited to keep progressing. Uh, my computer build is slowly taking shape. Um, so far, I have my case. It, you can see right here. Let me move my camera. Um, I do have my hard drive in. And I have my memory. And I just got my uh, Corsair RM750X power supply. So I'm very excited about getting this in the mail. Uh, and so the build is slowly coming together. Um, hoping to tackle some of the larger purchases so we can really begin doing the actual Unreal Engine 4 design and uh, moving forward with that. So that'll, that'll be really exciting. Um, so just to kind of recap what we went over last video, uh, we uh, started working on the actual um, placements of uh, locations on Masara, so where we're actually landing. So beginning, you know, on the arrival of Masara, we're landing around somewhere around the Kanai village. Um, and, you know, we've established just a, a few other locations. Chad Vita Estate, you know, we can create some sort of interaction with that. Um, Tazi Bandits, ha which have some sort of relation to Kanai um, in a way that they, uh, the way I can describe it is like the movie A Bug's Life where the grasshoppers come over and they take from the ants and the ants like build up enough um, food for the grasshoppers. So it could have, uh, you know, that that's like the best way I can think about that plot, but it could be kind of interesting. We can make it a little bit more detailed and not so much like verbatim A Bug's Life. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the Jedi Monument, that's actually something that could be really interesting. So I've been thinking more about this, and what we could probably do with this is have Jedi monuments spread out all across the planet on different continents. And uh, what if these monuments were established by one specific Jedi master? Uh, maybe the Jedi master I quoted in my intro video. And, you know, maybe there's a side quest uh, plot that we can go around and go to each Jedi monument and follow. Maybe follow this Jedi Master's uh, trail. Uh, follow his journey. So that could be really interesting. I, could, I think it could explore a lot of depth of maybe the Jedi Master's followings of uh, history, uh, his, his writings, um, what he's learned about the Force, um, maybe the, the different aspects of the light and the dark side, and uh, exploring balance. Um, that could be, that could be a, a doorway into that. That could be really interesting. So, uh, that, I just want to bring that up for my notes here on these videos. And, um, so that's where the, where we're at. Um, things are coming this, I mean, this is obviously like the opening map. It's a little bit smaller compared to like Taos, uh, in relation. <laughs> so this is going to be a very large game. I'm very excited about it. Um, it should be it should be a lot of fun to to build. It'll take time, um, but it, it gets me excited uh, to look forward. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to exit out of this. And what we're going to do is for this video, uh, I think what we need to do next is begin establishing some background story to our other characters. So we we established our main character, and that's fine. I think. I, I really like where where the direction of our main character is going. I do like the idea of the player's father uh, and, and how they get involved. I like the idea of Mitra Surik and the uh, apprentice to, to uh, Sith Emperor Vitiate. Um, so I'm trying to trying to decide if we want to start with more of like the main party. We could, we could probably make like um, 
th these videos a little bit shorter since we're just going over like main character uh, uh, this uh, character backstory because this is like specifically like with with uh, Satil Sean it's like already established within the Star Wars Legends so I mean it'd be kind of like a copy and paste a little bit but we can probably you know add our own flair um, so maybe what we do is just create like a little mini series of you know, who is Satil Sean? Who is Co Picarn? Who is HK47? And each video is just dedicated to, to building the uh, character development for that specific character. So, um, is that? Are these all the characters I had? Let's check. Uh, main party. Okay. Okay. Um, I think what we might do is well, we might actually spend more time on the player's father because it, that's really kind of like one of the main reasons why we're on the we're on Tithon in the first place, right? We're here to find our father. So what if we tackle the player's father, and then you know, in the next videos, we'll tackle Mitra Surik, we'll tackle the apprentice. That could be really fun to put together. So, let's do that. Let's uh, can I click this and go to develop? Oh, I did Mitra Surik. Whoops, um, okay. I think that was the wrong thing. I need to choose player's father. There we go. Okay, so first we're going to figure out player's father's narrative function in your story. And maybe we should actually like give him a name that works well no matter the race of your character. So maybe we can try to do that real quick and then we can just go ahead and get that established. Who is your father? <laughs> what if we just have a bunch of cheesy dad jokes in this game? That'd be a lot of that'd be a lot of fun. Uh let's see here. Okay, so Star Wars Um Name generator. So, um, we can stick with the Don John link. Let's 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 use that one. I don't want to use the fantasy name generators. Sometimes they're like, I don't know, made more for like Dungeons and Dragons rather than Star Wars. Does my internet want to work? Oh, just acting a fool. There it goes. Um. Oh, there's Tazi again. What if he's a Tazi? What if he's a leader of the Tazi bandits? Huh. Let's think about this. Now, because your 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 father is a person of he's more light side leaning rather than taking food from villagers kind of person. So I don't I don't think that fits. I don't think we should do that. Um. Interesting to think about, though. So let's go ahead and um, let's just say male names. I'm thinking no infringement intended. It's trying. Hello. 
Okay. Scion. Um, so what if we did... Uh, Hugo. Or select... And maybe we just do like a first name. We don't have to necessarily do a last name. Let's see here. Come on. I don't, I'm not sure why this is going so slow. I'll close out of that document. Maybe that. Maybe it'll help. Close out of that. Close out of Photoshop. Should make sure it just, you know, operates as fast as possible. Um, select. And what I'm trying to imagine is how other characters would sound should they pronounce his name. So it's not just like how it reads on a script, but how it would sound coming from other characters within the game. So if you did... Tannis? Hmm. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I, I know this could get like very grueling as far as like how long this could take if we actually wanted to pick the perfect name. And maybe we just pick more of like a, a placement name or just like a placeholder. That may be just what we do. Oh, goodness. Um, hmm. All right, let's let's uh, let's pick up a name from this this list here. Probably something short and easy to say. Radar, radar. Radar? <laughs> Sounds very southern. Gronhar. Tilo. Or Tilo. I could maybe Tilo. Orone. 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 Calm. Garm. Kessie. Idion. Alone. Um, 
We just do loan. <sighs> just for the sake of a character name. Uh, so. Loan. Done. Okay, character's father. Okay. So if we go, uh, let's go back to uh, compare. We should be able to adjust his name on this now. And close out of Don John. Player's father. Okay, that's Lawn. And again, this could be a placeholder um, in case in the future we want to actually spend more time finding out a good name. Alana and Lon. Nost. Sean. Lacarn. It's whatever. Okay. Develop. Let's knock this one out for Lon. Character lawn. Next. Okay, what is lawn's main external problem or mission? What occurs that triggers the story? Okay, so lawn's backstory is going to be he's some sort of maybe freelancer on on um, Calamar. On, in uh, the city of uh, Rolyon. So he's some sort of freelancer. Does work back and forth to Tython. Ends up probably coming across something on Tython. Sorry, I was uh, trying to scratch something off of my key. key. Um, so he comes across something on Tython. And maybe he started doing this freelance work when your character was a child. And so he's been going back and forth for years, learning uh, the ways of the Jedi. And so... And maybe it's just one day he didn't come home. So the Lon's main external problem or mission is that Lon... During a job, is left on Tython while uh, we'll say studying. Oh, studying the Jedi histories. And the force. Lon is forced with staying on Tython. Unable to make his way back to Roll Yon. Am I spelling that right? Roll Yon? Should be up here, right? Yeah, I'm spelling that right. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so there's that. Next one. What does Lon want or desire? The What ideal state does Lon want to achieve in order to solve the external problem and be happy? So, the main, his main desire is to get back home. Lon's main desire is to return home to Rolion. What does he want to achieve? What ideal state does Lon want to achieve in order to solve the external problem and be happy?
Athlon eventually encounters his child or his grown child and embarks on the journey with them. Goodness. My pinky must have some sort of twitch in it when I'm typing because um, like I'm not intentionally trying to press the semicolon. Okay, so there's that one. What is Lon's goal? What specific achievement would let Lon feel the ideal state has been reached? Lon's goal is to get home. It's pretty simple. What is Lon's outward task? Is Lon conscious of a mission? Lon is to find a way home. Lon is conscious of a mission. Perceived need. What does Lon believe Lon needs? Lon needs a way home. Either through freighter passage or or via his grown child. With what central action does Lon hope to achieve the goal? Which event or scene conveys Lon's true nature? Okay, so I think this is where we can start actually developing like maybe some perceived pain that Lon might have while knowing he's not able to get back to roll on with what central action does lawn hope to achieve the goal so i think after you encounter your father on tython i think what happens is like like the main There should be some sort of um, plot around their character that unfolds, right? So the main question that would come across is, why did you not come home? And so maybe there is some sort of flashback that maybe while Lon is telling a story, on screen you're seeing this flashback of... Hmm. What if, what if, so if, let's think about this. So if Lon has been doing this since your character was a child, what if we premised it with the idea that maybe the, it is because of Emperor Vitiate's apprentice. Maybe the apprentice has been hiding in these Sith relics and hol holocrons across Tython, and so Lon eventually came into contact with the apprentice. And when Lon tried to escape, Lon's ship was destroyed. Uh, 
because Lon was trying to stop him. And so you're seeing this visual flashback of the apprentice And maybe it's just like a little glimpse, but it's not it doesn't really show the apprentice fully. Just to give like just to give like a little snippet, a little tease. So what central action does Lon hope to achieve the goal? Which event or scene conveys Lon's true nature? So this is more Okay, so this is where uh Lon joins the main character, the flashback of the apprentice destroying Lon's ship shows the, uh, we'll say grief slash sorrow in Lon's face and countenance. So he really, in this flashback, you realize how much he wanted to get back. And so once you finally come across Lon, he is just like overwhelmed. Lon is overwhelmed and being reunited with the main character. And what could happen is you have obviously light side and dark side opportunities of dialogue to where you can embrace being united with him and, you know, give him a hug, saying how much you missed him. Or you could say, you know, I grew up without you and you're dead to me. Because, I, I mean, those are two very real scenarios. There are some, like, e even in, like, game aside, in real life, there are people who, you know, if they're father never showed for something there are people who would react with a more tender-hearted response that they are happy to be re reunited with their father or they have maybe bitterness towards their father and they're like you're dead to me i don't care to be re reunited with you you can stay here and rot for all i care so, like, the, I think there's opportunity to sh really show the depth of the impact of Lon staying on on Tython. It's it's it, it, it like I mean, just thinking about it, like I'm actually pretty. It, it makes you really think. Just about life in general, not even just the video game, the life in general. But anyway, um, so the flashback of the apprentice destroying Lon's ship shows the grief, sorrow in Lon's face and countenance. Lon is overwhelmed and being reunited with the main character. So that's what conveys Lon's true nature. So at stake, what would be the consequence of Lon's failure? What's at stake? So... And maybe towards the end of the game, where you're like battling the apprentice or something. What if there is an opportunity for your father to die? And what if there's an opportunity for your father to live? Like, what if there's some sort of defining moment in the game? Where you have a choice to let your father live or die. And it necessarily would be Lon's failure. Maybe this maybe I'm getting off topic. 
and this doesn't really pertain to what this question is asking, but that could be a really um, a really interesting take on the ending, like le letting your father die or choosing to say have him stay alive. Okay, so let's get back on topic. Uh, what would be the consequence of Lon's failure? What's at stake? So Lon is trying to find a way back to Rolion. Lon could never... So what's at stake is Lon could never return home. Oh, wait. Lon needs to find a way home lest he remain on Tython for the remainder of his days. Reminder? Remainder of his days. So that's a consequence and what's at stake? He would remain. Oh, lest he remains. This little um, Grammarly, this app is called Grammarly for Chrome. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it helps out with grammar. And as I grow older, I sometimes neglect my grammar. So it's actually pretty helpful. Okay, so antagonistic obstacles. What are Lon's antagonistic obstacles or threats? What force prevents Lon's growth? So obviously... First and foremost, The Apprentice. The Apprentice destroyed The Apprentice destroyed Lon's ship. So that is the history. Now, moving forward into the story, as Lon joins your party, and you begin to uncover the plot of The Apprentice. What force prevents Lon's growth? Hmm. I think what Lon has a sense of hopelessness. So hope hopelessness. Okay. So obviously Lon has had his ship destroyed. He doesn't know how much longer he's going to be on Typhon. He's probably holed up in some sort of little hermit shack off some island or peninsula or something. And he wants to maybe he like all he does with his days is just catch fish. He just sits out on some dock and throws like a net or uh, what if he like uses the force? Um, you know, to like go and like catch his fish, like he pulls them out of the water and then like throws them into a pan and starts frying them alive. I don't know, something like that. Um, but so he's encountered a lot of hopelessness. Maybe as he joins your party, he starts to become healthy again mentally because you know he. He realizes, okay, I have a purpose again. I'm reunited with my child. And he needs to overcome hopelessness. Because maybe before 
he was studying very in depth the history of the Jedi. Lon studied in depth the history and training of the Jedi. If I can spell all right. But discontinued. while trapped. Okay. Great work. You should have a fair idea of how the plot works based on Lon's narrative function. Now have a look at some optional plot devices that you could use in order to give your plot more drive. Unbelievable. Wish. Fear. Special ability. Prize possession. External obstacles. Secret. Choice. Interesting. First, we're going to figure out. Oh, wait. wait. Okay, so we already did that. Cool. So, lawn should be done. Okay. Uh, what's the question mark? Oh. Cool. So, it actually has like little snippets. So if we go back to compare, hello? Okay, cool. So we now have lawn. Hooray. <laughs> uh, so grid. Oh, I see. That's right. Okay, so cool. Um, so we, uh, I, I think we can stop the video here. Uh, we'll keep this one, these uh, videos shorter. We don't spend too much time um, trying to make long videos for just the character development stuff. Uh, we already did that with the main character, but I think that was important in knowing how the game is going to progress as it pertains to you. Um, but uh, these other characters, I don't think. Uh, so much time needs to be spent on them necessarily. So uh, with that, uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, and we are going to call it a night or a day or a morning, wherever you may be. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And we will see you guys next time.